Access granted. The shit hurts! Jensen? What are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries' chief of security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh. There's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine. I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life. And that shit costs money. 
But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain, that just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. I can respect that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit, the dealers probably sent him. Tell you what, I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Okay, I'll help you out. But you better not be playing me. You give me way too much credit, Jensen. I'm a security tech, not a hardened mobster. The two bushers go by the name PG and BK. They hang out in the alley near the basketball court. Just make sure they never bother me again. Deal. Look, I told you. If you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. I've taken care of the dealers. Now hand over the footage. Thanks, Jensen. Listen, I know it's not something you did from the bottom of your heart, but still, you saved my ass. Here's your footage. Listen, Tyndall, I know your heart was in the right place. Augmentations are a complicated issue, and we're still trying to figure out all the ramifications. It's not perfect, but the end still doesn't justify the means. That's where you and I are different men, Jensen. You follow the rules, but fail to recognize that the rules are written by those in power. Me? I'm willing to do what has to be done. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. Yeah, I've already got it. Don't worry. I got the footage. You owe me one, Tim. Yeah, you got that right, Jensen. I mean, thank you so much. This is my life I just got back. Listen, I got a hold of a weapon mod. It's not much, but I figured a guy in your line of work could use it. Listen, I know you were trying to do a good thing, and I respect that. But you should do it through proper channels. Next time you might not get this lucky. Yeah, you're right, Adam. I know you're right. Listen, thanks again. I find it funny how they just do an about turn. Instant. What's your plan?
Always a pleasure. What time is it? Fuck now. 106. Alright guys, this is what Welcome I'm doing for content. Internet. Staying up to 1 Please in the morning. Dr. Oh, yeah. I don't Will you be purchasing anything today? God, you look like an anime character. Praxis kid. Always a pleasure, sir. It's not going to happen anytime soon, because, yeah. I just spent literally all of my money.
Honestly, even the, this dystopian version of Detroit um, gives you a better appreciation for Detroit than the actual city of Detroit, from what I've heard. <laughs> Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob and a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, Metalhead? I know you handle the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. Mr. Taggart went on to express a sincere desire. These offices are off limits to civilians, sir. Don't go in there. Hey, how are you? I was a cop once, you know. Did you see it on? I'm not a fucking civilian. All righty, guys. Um, I am. Jensen, I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues, a detective Alexander. Jenny. What did she want? She said she could use some help if you can make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Alright. I'm gonna end this video here. Yeah, because I feel like this is gonna be like another long slog for this next bit. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.